We are just two weeks away now from the deadline that the Oklahoma Education Association gave lawmakers to come up with a way to fund a teacher pay raise and provide more money for schools. Good evening, I'm Brian Dorman. I'm Ashley Isbicki. Right now, many districts are just trying to come up with a plan for students and student athletes if a walkout happens. News on 6's Amy Kaufman is live on the story with the plan Tulsa Public Schools released today. Amy. Washland well, Bryan, Tulsa Public Schools has more than 250 student athletes who are seniors who also play sports in the spring and administrators say it would be unfair to them to eliminate their final season. However, they do tell me that they are going to eliminate JV sports if teachers do decide to walk out on April 2nd. We'll play two five inning games today, three runs, three outs. A lot of them, you know, kind of agree with the teachers that something needs to be done. Booker T history teacher John Potosnik also coaches high school baseball. He says he's worried not only about his athletes, but also his students. The AP students are a little worried because of the testings that's coming up. Like many teachers who also coach, Potosnik puts in a lot of time in the classroom and on the field. Brogan, you'll start on the mound today. But it's difficult for him to think that his JV team could be playing their last game of the season next week. That will put them behind development-wise, but I understand that, you know, we have to make sacrifices and so, uh, at least they'll have a few more years to still be able to participate. This is preparing us for the later moments in our high school career to where we're going to need to like step up our game against other teams. It's kind of hard to get to that if you don't get like live play time. Bateman is one of several JV athletes who will still be able to practice with varsity but not play in games. The district wanted to continue varsity athletics so recruiters can see seniors play. We have 255 senior student athletes. This is it for them. If they're playing a spring sport and they think they might matriculate to a college scholarship and they don't have a season, that's a disservice to them. I hope that the government comes to a conclusion soon enough to where we won't lose enough of our school year and that just go back to regular. Now, Tulsa Public Schools Athletic Director Gil Cloud says that they will not start practices until after 3.30 because that is the end of the teacher's contract day. And just to be clear, JV and sub-JV athletics will only be eliminated if the teachers do walk out on April 2nd. Live on the scene, on the story in Tulsa, Amy Kaufman, News on 6.